Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe to my videos if you're into them. In this video, I will be making plant hangers, or you could use them as wall hangers. And this is what they look like. I've been pretty busy lately. I've been trying to figure out how to do all this stuff with the YouTube channel. I've been making some things. Not quite as much as I wanted. I kind of took a break after my little dog for the Rainbow Bridge. It's been kind of a stressful time for me. I've been trying to take time for myself and I'm designing some things. I've been figuring out what I want to make for the summer collection, things I want to make. I think I'm going to focus on some wall hangers because I have a lot of those that I did out of air dry clay. I think I want to focus on some made out of ceramics. My air dry clay, I love it because I can hand paint it. The glaze, I'm still kind of getting the hang of glaze. For me, it's not as easy. I'm getting better at the mixing of it. But the actually painting of it, I think maybe I need to get some glaze pencils, some smaller paint brushes. I'd like to try to do some watercolor glaze. If you know what that is, I'm sure I'll be doing a video on that eventually. What else is in the making that I want to do? Being that I want to do. I want to double my microwave kiln, but I can't do that until, until I get a bigger microwave. And I found this microwave that I have now on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Super cheap. It was like $10 or $15 or something like that. I definitely want to get a bigger one. Someone told me to turn my microwave on end, but I don't know about that because there's electronic components on the side I would have to place my, my, my microwave kiln on. If you've done that before, hey, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear about it. And if you have a video, let me know about that too. I'd like to check that out. And let's get into it. I am going to sketch it out first to see how I like it. And then if I like what I've sketched out, then I'll go on to painting sketches to see how that's going to look with like the glaze and stuff like that. I was going to do a bear, and then I decided not to do a bear because I thought that it would look better if I did uh, an alligator. So I erased and started over to make a cute little alligator. I like it better. It's turning out good like this. Then I decided to get my gouache jelly paints out. These are my favorite paints now. I used to do acrylic, but now I love the jelly gouache. Alligators first, of course. Gotta paint the alligator green. I have a feeling this strawberry is gonna turn out looking so cute. I love strawberries. It's one of my favorite fruits.
I think I'm going to wind up doing the mushy like a light blue with a purple and some peach, maybe some peach dots on it. Instead of using cookie cutters, I decided just to hand cut it. I smoothed it out, made sure there was no, you know, sharp edges. Then I put the hole in there so it can hang. Lightly drew on my extra little things like the leafy part of the strawberry and the seeds. I use this little tool. I'll put links in the description of the video for all of the tools that I use in case you want them. Next is my tree. Definitely need to smooth out the clay. I'm gonna draw the leaves and the little dots or dashes for the trunk. Meanwhile, the whole time, that coffee cup with the coffee just sat there because I forgot to drink it. What a waste. I wanted to grow my, grow my own mushrooms. I thought that'd be really cool. I saw this video on TikTok where you take a toilet paper roll and you boil hot water and then you stick the toilet paper roll in the hot water. You take mushroom seeds and or spores or whatever it is and you pour it on top of the soaked toilet paper and then you stick it in a plastic bag, put it and seal it and then put it in a cool dark area and it's supposed to like sprout mushrooms. That'd be so cool. I've always wanted to do that. And now for my little alligator.
I let them dry for two days, and then I came back to them, fired them in my microwave kiln, and then started my glaze process. And then I fired them a second time for 20 minutes again. And here's the finished product. Now I gotta string them together. Wall hanging slash plant hanger. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more art related content. Until next time, toodles!